Hello and welcome to uh, today's video for Friday. It is the 11th day of September 2015 and I want to talk about the Indianapolis Colts going to Buffalo to take on the Buffalo Bills. But before we do that, I want to plug my website, ag47fantasy.com. I'll be updating that throughout the weekend up until kickoff, primarily 12.30 p.m. Eastern Time or so on Sunday. So check that there for information that may be going down. But again, this is Buffalo Bills hosting the Indianapolis Colts. Earlier this week, Coach Rex Ryan of the Bills basically requested the fans to get very, very loud for this game because we have a quarterback here, in, uh, Andrew Luck, fantasy MVP type quarterback. He is known for throwing, turning the ball over a lot too. So playing the Bills defense in fantasy, not against that at all. But I'm not playing it. Though. But uh, as far as the... Offense of the Colts is concerned. If you started or if you drafted Andrew Luck, don't be excited about the matchup, but you got to play him. He is a top two quarterback in the league with Aaron Rodgers. As far as other skill positions on the Colts, I do not, I'm not buying Frank Gore. I hate the matchup, but I would like to watch him for more than just this game. I'd like to see him against a bad matchup and see if he can do well before I trust playing him in any daily fantasy league. I do trust Andre Johnson, I definitely trust T.Y. Hilton, but the matchup sucks. I'm not going to play him in any daily fantasy leagues, nor did I draft either of those two quarterbacks in any of my seven or so fantasy drafts that I'm in, or leagues. So I'm not going to play any Colts in daily fantasy. I'm playing Bills, only two of them. But one is a must play. Let's look at the game matchup itself as far as Buffalo offense versus Colts defense. On the Colts defensive side of the ball, you have... A defensive back system that is very good. They'll attack the ball. They're very good at coverage. You got a front seven, which is very good at rushing the passer, which means when the Colts have these second half leads, that can be dangerous, but they're very bad against the run. And here we have the Bills team that doesn't have an all star quarterback but does have a very good running back in LaShawn McCoy, healthy and ready to go. I got McCoy fourth on my running backs for the week. And he's not priced fourth. The top two that I got is number one, Eddie Lacy, and number two, Adrian Peterson. And if you want to know who the third one is, that's Matt Forte. But I think he's going to have a big game. And as far as his cost, which is nowhere near the fourth expensive, he's like the tenth or whatever most expensive, I think LaShawn McCoy is a great play to have for daily fantasy. I think he can run for over 100 yards and get in and see paint. Now, I think an interesting handcuff is to play him with Tyrod Taylor. And there's a couple reasons why I like the handcuff together. The only reason or the only way that Tyrod Taylor is going to have a good game is if they can effectively run the ball. Uh, now, Taylor is not your conventional uh, quarterback. Normally, I'd want you to handcuff a quarterback with a receiver or tight end. But no, I'm only expecting about 150 to 175 passing yards out of Taylor. Although I'm expecting him to run for about 50 to 70. I just think that if they're able to get five, six, seven yard runs, have the second and three, have the third and two kind of plays, that he'll be able to play the short game very well, the short passes, and of course running 50 to 70 yards himself, hopefully getting a running touchdown or passing one to Sean McCoy. That's how I'm going to play it. But why I also like playing the handcuff is, if you're playing Tyrod Taylor, the worst thing that you would have to see happen is the Bills start the drive at their own 30, McCoy runs here, then they throw a ball to Sammy Watkins, and then uh, Tyrod Taylor runs for 15 yards, and the drive goes to the two, and then McCoy runs it in. Oh, geez, I got like two and a half fantasy points that drive on a touchdown, and that's it, just two and a half. At least now if I have McCoy on as running back, at least he gets the six points for the touchdown because I'm working together with all my players put together. So I have one lineup where I have Tyrod Taylor in as my quarterback, and yeah, LaShawn McCoy in as my running back. But I got, LaShawn, I got about 10 or 11 different lineups. LaShawn McCoy's in half of them. I'm going pretty big with him. 
He's uh, him and Adrian Peterson mainly. Those are the two running backs that I'm essentially going with. Um, really, really big. Eddie Lacy as well. I mean, I expect a big game. Those are the three running backs that I'm going with. Uh, my webpage has more information, so for sleepers, check that out. Other receivers, other tight ends. Go to my webpage, ag47fantasy.com. Now, tomorrow's video, I got a uh, play on either the side and or total with the uh, Saint, uh, the, 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 what matchup is it? It's the Denver Broncos and the Baltimore Ravens. That's the game. I got a play focusing on the uh, side and total. So check back for that on Saturday, which is tomorrow. But if you're watching this a day late on Saturday, it'll be available today. Yeah. Take care. Have yourself a good weekend and enjoy Sunday's week one action.